वेरी हैप्पी क्रिसमस वी आर इन द क्रिसमस सीजन एंड वी पीपल टेक इट टू बी अ टाइम फॉर हैप्पीनेस जॉय एंड सेलिब्रेशन पर द फैक्ट इज दैट जीसस वॉज नॉट बॉर्न इन अ पैलेस ही वॉज बॉर्न इन अ स्मॉल लिटल टाउन कॉल्ड बेथलेम एंड ब्रॉट अप इन एन अदर टाउन कॉल्ड नैचरित and he had a very difficult young age when he had to be born there was no place for him to be born he or he he was born in a manger where the animals eat for the from and soon after his birth he did not have it easy also the people who came to know a savior of the world is born got themselves very afraid and tried to kill Jesus when he was a small little baby king herod himself killed hundreds of children thinking that among those children Jesus also will die overnight joseph and mary had to take the children the baby jesus to egypt and they remained there for 3 years and came back after 3 years while he was still a young man he grew up in the nazareth as a carpenter and until the year of 30 age of 30 he worked as a carpenter and for the next 3 years he was an itinerant preacher he preached love he pre- preached justice he preached uh brotherhood he preached all those things which we require today to have peace among us and while he was still young man the tide of popular opinion of that time turned against him and he went through a mockery of a trial and was nailed on a cross between two thieves and he was as he was still hanging on the cross his executioners gambled for the only piece of property that he ever held and that was his purple robe so my dear friends 20 white centuries have since come and gone and what would be within his mark if he says that all of the armies that ever marched all of the navies that ever sailed the seven seas all of the kings that ever ruled all put together have not affected the life of man so powerfully as that of jesus christ when we speak about christmas now in this background we think about the saving action of god of man he saved him for sin from sin and brought him brought the man back to god himself and in this background we express our happiness we are so happy we uh try to celebrate with people so on and so forth but the problem is uh christmas is not all about the external celebration but it is a time for us to have a helping hand to those people who do not have anything in their lives therefore one of the preachers catholic preachers archbishop fulton jeshin has a beautiful sentence to say he says if christ were to be born today he would not be born in bethlehem and he would not be born in a manger also if he were to be born now today in 2022 he would be born on one of the footpaths of one of the big cities of anywhere in the world he will grow up, grow there up he would be there without food without water without clothing he would be there without anything that a human being would need and on that footpath he will grow up and the people would just pass by ignoring him ignoring his need and not doing anything and christ would sigh and say o calvary o cross on which he was hung o calvary it was more endurable 
than the indifference of man of today. I think biggest sin of man of today is indifferentism. We don't care for the need of the others. So Christmas has to be a time for all of us to care for one another. The custom that we have of sharing sweets, custom that we have got sharing the Christmas card, custom that we have got of wishing each other emanates from this fact that we need to care for each other. But the problem is we have this only among us, among the rich, what about the poor? The poor, the downtrodden, the orphans, the people who do not have anything. I think those people need to be cared for. And believe me, when we think of caring for the people, we always think of the horizontal way. Me, my brother, my father, my sister, my husband, my wife. But we need to go vertical. Anything that we do horizontally would have no meaning until and unless we have connection with God, top God and then us. And that's why Christ came down from heaven to be one like us so that he can experience the human suffering, human joys, everything that human beings undergo. And we can take, he can take us back to God. So on this Christmas day, I would like to wish everybody a happy Christmas, which means let us care for each other, especially the poor and the downtrodden. Thank you very much.